Welcome goalies. This is a goal crease tutorial on some basic goaltending positioning, specifically a goaltender's depth. Your depth is your position in or out of the crease, deep in the crease or outside the crease. Aggressive depth is what we're going to see first. And then we're going to see an example of a goalie backing up conservative depth, deep in the crease. And then the in-between, the top of the crease is your basic depth. That's ABC. Aggressive, basic, conservative, easy way for kids to remember it. And here's a good example of a play where we see a bit of both, aggressive and conservative. Getzloff enters the zone here, and he's going to take a slap shot. Our goalie makes the save outside the crease, quickly backs up deep into the crease to play conservative on the second chance. And we're going to watch this again. He's set. He doesn't have to move. He reads that play nicely outside the crease, and he goes backwards. Notice where he plants his foot. That's a tough skill, goalies. That's a little bit advanced. But he gets his foot way out in front of him so he can hurry backwards on the rebound because the conservative positioning here allows him to react to any kind of bad bounce that might happen. Look at all the bodies. Who knows what's going to happen? This is a very unpredictable play. This puck could end up anywhere. Staying back in the crease can allow him to get to either side, cover either post, and he's still you know, making himself big enough to stop most of the shots that come at him. Here's where it all begins. This plays at center ice and Darcy Kemper showing us how to set up from home base. He is on the goal line, up against the crossbar. Not like some coaches tell their youngsters, stand out here at the top of the crease or out by the hash marks to cut down the angle. That's maybe the worst thing you can tell a young goalie. They're gonna get lost. They're trying to move side to side as the puck goes you know, around the rink and they get lost, they move over too far. And they almost always end up, that lost feeling causes them to back up too soon and end up in the crease as soon as a puck is shot. If you want them to make a save outside the crease, teach them how to start from here and then move out as the play is, you know, coming into their zone as the attack begins. So Kemper is all the way back. He waits to see which side of the rink the puck is going to come at me on. Now the attack's coming from this side. Okay, I can move outside my crease on this side. And I love this, goalies, little tip. Touch your posts a lot. Look at his glove. If this was on the other side, he'd be touching it with his stick, with the knob of the stick here. You want to feel your posts to give you confidence that you know exactly where the net is behind you. He comes outside the crease, and now he's ready for a shot. Okay? If this player wasn't here, he'd maybe come out a little further. But because there's a two-man rush, it could be a pass, he can't be overly aggressive. This is aggressive, but not overly aggressive. Here's one where there is no pass option. You're going to see Marc-Andre Fleury playing it way outside the crease. It's just a one-on-one. -on -one. You can kind of see him take a step out at the last second here to make sure he knows where the shot's coming from. It turns into an easy save because of great positioning. This one's tricky. We're going to call this guy Russian George. He's coming out on a passing play. This is a more difficult play to, to be aggressive on, and it takes a lot of skill, a lot of quickness. Okay, it also takes a little help from your defense if you're going to be that aggressive. Look how everybody's got to tie up sticks. It's a bit of a scramble. Right now, you see very conservative depth. This player just had the puck, but because of this player and this player, he had to play a conservative. He's not challenging the shooter because he has to be concerned about a pass, and sure enough, the pass happens right here. Now this guy's catching a pass. Watch Russian George's next move. He's changing his angle, but staying conservative. This player is getting his eyes up, ready to shoot. This goalie is still conservative. Okay, that's the quickest way to square up to a pass that goes from the side to the slot. Do it deep in the crease. But now that once he realizes there's no more passes, now it's going to be a shot. He tries to come out. And he does so so quickly that he kind of loses control. We love this drill. This is called the angle before depth drill. We simulate this play a lot to try to encourage goalies to, to be aggressive when they can and it, to practice the footwork involved because it takes a lot of skill to move your feet that fast. If a goalie's dropping early or sliding, they're never going to come out. They can only do that deep in the crease. So you have to be strong on your skates to make a play like that. Angle before depth. 
Here's a still shot of a great conservative positioning. We see a lot of goalies when the puck's over here by the dot, they're way out at the top of their crease. Now that's the right position if you know the shot's coming or if you think there's a good chance that the shot's coming. But you got to be able to read a play and recognize in this situation, there's no way there's a shot coming. Look at the play guy's feet. Look at the puck. Look at his stick. Look at his head. The play is moving away from the net, and the next thing that happens is almost certainly going to be a pass. This is how you anticipate a pass. You play it conservative depth. Now when there's a pass, if he needs to get across the crease, it's a short distance. If he were being aggressive, and then he needs to get to the other side of, a, of his crease on a passing play, it's a much greater distance across. So don't challenge every guy with the puck. Challenge the shooters. If you think the guy's a passer, try to play a conservative. Here's a good example of conservative play. You're killing a penalty. There's going to be a lot of passes. 81 gets the puck. He's stepping into a shooting lane, yet the goalie stays in conservative positioning. Leonard here is not coming out like we saw Flurry or Carter Hart do. He's staying back. That's because of what's happening over here. Away from the net to the side of the play, there's a threat for a lateral play, a deflection or a pass where Leonard would have to get across the crease. So he has to play this because we're outnumbered in our zone right now. We have to play it conservatively. And this is why it's a good shooting opportunity. He elects to take the shot, doesn't snipe, doesn't pick a corner, so it turns out to be a pretty easy save despite the goalie's conservative depth. There you have it. You have to read a play, know when to come out, when to be aggressive, and when to play conservative. It's not just about challenging the shooter on every shot. That's not smart hockey. Challenge the shooter when you know they're going to shoot. Be conservative when the play is more likely turning into a passing play.